get a little bit more Starfield news here. And the theme is bigger, unlike me. Everything's bigger. So I just like wanted to throw out some info from the Todd Howard interview and break it down a little bit and go over some of the things that we found out in the Starfield trailer a little bit while ago. There's a full breakdown that I have a video on it. The link will be down in the description below. But more importantly, Todd Howard had an interview with IGN and he kind of just broke down some things that we want to know about Starfield. One of the most important things that actually probably developed yesterday was finding out that it is a silent protagonist, unlike Fallout 4. So more like the Oblivion style Bethesda games that people are nostalgic for and love. I personally don't really care, but if this is what the people want, this is what the people will get. And then the other biggest piece of news from all of this would be the seamless space travel. So that would mean you don't really get to fly from planet to planet and you don't really get to land and take off on your ship. I, I understand this. There's engine limitations and if you don't agree with it, that's fine. I just want you to know that this is engine limitations and they didn't think it was as important to the player to be able to land their ship. Even though there is space flight and space combat in the game, there will be like a cutscene animation such as that one in the trailer of you taking off and then you will be in space where you will regain control. A little bit separate than when you're in space and you can maybe dock at a spaceship. That I feel like that's a little bit different of a caveat. Another bit of news that we got that isn't necessarily Starfield related, however I think it is notable, is that Fallout 5 is confirmed after Elder Scrolls 6. However, since Elder Scrolls 6 is still in pre-production, neither of these games will be coming in the near or immediate future. But it was confirmed nonetheless, so I, I'll touch on it here. But back to the interview. Starfield does include more handcrafted content than any other Bethesda game going along with the theme that everything is bigger and better in Starfield. They said there's going to be over a thousand explorable planets. However, they said some of them will be procedural generated and what they have to offer may be less than what you might think. And you can ignore them in favor of the huge amount of fully handcrafted content that will be in the game. If you want to explore all of the planets, you can. If not, you probably won't be missing much unless they fully developed it. I think it'll be pretty obvious in that sense. Then going on to the main story, they are continuing with the theme that they want to be bigger and better. And it's on average going to be a 30 to 40 hour campaign, which is about 20% bigger than any other game, especially they noted Skyrim here. I always think they overshoot their estimates here like most men including myself however you know this might actually be true in this case and yes yes everyone knows the classic bethesda step out moment stepping out of the vault stepping off the cart everyone knows these moments starfield will have the classic bethesda step out moment after you get beyond that they did talk about the four major cities in New Atlantis. And they said New Atlantis is the biggest and best city that they have ever made. I don't know of any other cities in like Skyrim or Fallout that are actually known for their size. So like, I think it's a cool thing to note. However, I don't think any of the games that I've played that Bethesda has made has ever really like wowed me with the size of the city and the infrastructure in it. And what it has to offer so this part really intrigues me and i'm kind of interested to see what this unfolds now he did touch on some of the space combat and the space flight which i alluded to earlier however with the space combat they did say it is very unique and inspired by ftl and mecha warrior todd howard did say there's a lot of space sims out there that are people are fans of however they wanted to make a starfield unique and you know make it true to its own like i i don't really know much about these previous titles so i can't expand on that but the full article will be down below if you want to read into it more but i just kind of want to elaborate some of it and some of my thoughts there's not really much more to this article other than like the little tidbits that i went over 
nothing really groundbreaking stuff that all could have been assumed other than Fallout 5 being confirmed. Just a little bit of information that's always nice for the fan base to have. If there's any other Starfield in the future, I will make sure to cover it. You can like and subscribe to help me out and to stay up to date on other Starfield content. Same with other creators. If you like the content, like, subscribe, it helps them out a great deal. But as always, as always, I hope you have a great day.